Welcome back everybody to Farming Simulator 19 here on Madison Creek 19. How we doing today folks? We doing alright? You're probably like, what the heck is that Mr. Blue? Folks, yeah, it's your host was not the most, Mr. Blue aka Tommy Miller. But yeah, yeah, I hope y'all doing okay. And yes, this is ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Very uh, let's see here. We. Now, maybe if I put it on the combine. There we go. Um, not, not going to use course blade. Look right here. I can't even tell you what that is. There's so many zeros. Let's see here. It looks like one. Oh, quit moving. Hey, get. Oh, well. One, two. Three? Is that 2.5 million liters? 2.5 million liters is what this combine holds. This is a hundred meter. It's this here. Yeah, from there to there. A hundred meters. Oh, shut up, phone. Um, our guy back here is somewhere belling this. At least... Oh man, I about forgot to hit the uh follow me. Alright, we're gonna we're gonna stop. We're gonna to come to a stop real slow because folks you, <laughs> you 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 don't want this to stop all at once. And you see how the booty's getting full there? Oh yeah. Oh maybe I can pull off from that. And it's still filling. Yeah, that's a lot of wheat. Well, anyway, folks, we are doing the contract on field nine here. Well, the straw's working. I forgot I got the, <laughs> the thing up there in the top left corner that tells me. Uh, look at the stacks on that truck. How it's just uh, rare. These are 40,000 liter bales, folks. 40,000 liters. Oh, yep, see, right there, 40,000 liters. And this ain't all we got. We got two full trailer loads sitting on the side of the road that we had to uh, unload there. Oh. Get back up here to combine before he gets caught up. Look at the power of straw. It's almost as tall as the combine. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness, yeah. But today, folks, it's not going to be about the contracts all the way. I just want to show you a few things I was doing here. Come on, baby. You can do it. Come on, take off. Take off. It's pushing me sideways. There we go. We can't turn too fast or it will leave little lines over there. We'll have to come back and get them. <laughs> well, folks, this this thing is a beast. It's by Custom Modding. Yeah, Custom Modding. And, and this header will go as fast as the combine will. Combine runs 32 mile an hour, but the combine's only got enough power to push it about 26 mile an hour. Yeah, it, it's a... It's, it's a trip. Oh, look at the tractor back there. I should have watched it when he went over a pile. But I thought I'd just take a shot right down the middle of this field here. And, uh, and have at it. <laughs> One thing about this, you have to be careful. Especially if you're doing contracts. Like, say we got down at the bottom left. We got field 29 coming up, right? And we got to get that little zigzag through there. This thing will harvest, you know, if you get close to a ditch or something, there's another field on the other side. You'll grab that crop. 
if it's ready to harvest, you know, if it's the same crop. So let me get rid of this coarse blade box here. Jump in here real quick so y'all can see this. Pretty nice setup. We might get one of these along with her John Deere. Uh, out, out of the cab. Slow down, slow down, make a turn, make a turn. Yeah, see, it's not realistic. And <laughs> no means it's it's not realistic. Uh, the header does not have a collision except for the little B spot on the front here. But uh, folks, <laughs> I, I just thought I'd plate and see the little ridges it leaves if you cut too fast. Yeah, you have to kind of slow down. When you make your turn there, or it'll make those like that right there. So yeah, I'm. It's showing I'm full up here, but down there, as you can see, I'm just about a quarter of ways. I don't know if I can get zoomed out far enough to for you to see it, but see if I accidentally just reached through there, got caught. Oh, what happened? Oh no, my booty's raising. I don't know what happened there. But, uh, yeah, see, I, I can't show you. That's, that's what it's doing. That's what it's doing. It's trying to, to get the other crop over. Her. Let me turn my header, it'll probably start working. See if I got out of his crops. Oh, this right here is going to be fun, then. And it does cut backwards, too. Look at there. I'm going to have to get as far as I can on this side. We'll, we'll save that for last. Oh, the baler's going to have fun right there. Can I just do it like this? Kind of back up. Oh, uh, he's going to uh, shift F or we'll stop him. We're just going to get this little bit here cut. Folks, I will be back here in a minute. We are going to uh, check on our cotton and uh, probably will need cultivating it in time we're through with this field. It probably needs to be cultivated. So that's going to be our project for this episode, cultivating our cotton. So. I just want to show this to y'all how stupid, crazy, funny it is. Stupid, crazy, funny. Okay, that'll be our thumbnail. Maybe. I'll be right back, folks. And as you can see, between the time I do have it on times five, I got all that top and that corner there done. And. Just got to get this side here, and then I'll be on that side and show you what I got done so far. And that's it. Um, I'm going to try to get this real corner. If I get past this right here, it won't be too bad, but it's trying to catch. You can see a little tiny bit right there where it caught. But yeah, I, I got this here and this here and feel nine to be done. See, it, it's still not showing. 27 is not ready yet. 31 is not ready yet. And 38 ain't. I don't know what 44 and 45 is. Um, it is also wheat. I like to get some soybeans. So far, the only thing I've seen, besides what we planted, this map grows, is just corn, soybeans, and wheat. And I ain't seen no cotton either. But our cotton's good. But you can see right here. Ooh. What happened there, Mr. Blue? Well, folks. <laughs> I guess I fell asleep. What it was, I hired this worker. And uh, I hired him here. He went down here, turned around, and came back. And the time I got done, you know, I was running this other tractor here and stuff. And yeah I just I forgot about him until he got right here and I'm like oh crap but we have done 12 11 and 10 
and while he's there let's go up here real quick um i want to go ahead and finalize 10 and collect that and i want to finalize you know what i think i just messed up <laughs> i think i just messed up that, that's okay i didn't mess up i don't know which one that's with i i can't do no more because this truck here has got weed in it and if i finalize i think it's field 12 but i'm not for sure but yeah if i finalize it it'll take that truck away and it's got it's got weed in it so like i said let me finish this up and we'll get over to the tractors and uh cultivate us some cotton get the what weeds we can out of it before it gets too big be right back all right folks i told you we gonna be cultivating cotton and well, we are times two yeah i know i got the gps lines on that i'm actually in this back tractor back here and i have um Follow me set to uh, forward. That's not going to. Let's see, shift, maybe. I got it set to forward 25 and right offset 11.5 meters. And that way I can just have him in the front. I, I'm fixing to set him as. Uh, GPS and uh, I don't know really how I'm going to do this but we got a big field to cultivate I'll listen to the tractor I love it folks we're doing about 5 mile an hour because we don't want to throw too much dirt up on the cotton which it probably could handle it but, uh, let me get back here on mine let me uh, go in here for a second. I want to take these lines off. It's just a little bit more realistic. There, you can't see the lines now. Let me uh, hit the wrong button there. Get my speed going back. But we do have the care tires on, or skinnies. That way, extra careful, not hitting no bows. Uh oh, got a tire spinning over. Oh, I'm in that little gully there. I was like, what's going on? I don't want to get stuck already. Let me just show you the plow action right there. These are Landau cultivators. Um, I actually ran these in real life. Um, except we had a 4840 on them. Let's see if I can get down here. Right there in the bottom left, you can barely see it. It says Landall. And that's the name brand of them. And that's the ones we run. It was 12 rows. And folks, you had to be careful. You had to be careful. See those cutters right there in front? Now you got a gauge wheel in the middle. And then you got a cutter on each side. Then you have right behind the gauge wheel there in the middle. Let me see. I'll tell you what. We are going to stop. Yep. But you can keep going if you want to. But he's going to stop too because I stopped. And I've been flying, looks like. But see if we uh, can do this a little bit better here. Um, get my... No, I don't want to, uh, nope, 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 uh-oh, I am, uh, okay, I was trying to pick that up, I don't want to pick it up, I just want my cursor, but it won't show, but anyway, anyway, okay, you see on the front side here, you have a gauge wheel, you can probably see it better this way, let me turn my flashlight on, you have a gauge wheel running right in the middle and on each side of the cotton there you got 
two little cutter wheels that's in an angle that throws the dirt into the middle and it also cuts any vines or weeds so that takes care to the edge of the cotton that's where you got to be careful because you we wag just a little bit that cotton's gone and then you can see right here between them and the middle you got uh, a, a straight display just all it's doing is cutting it's cutting those vines in two again after it pulls them into the middle and then you got a plow on the back let me raise this up real quick and you can see it a little bit better there gauge wheel then you got two cutter wheels and right behind that you got a main cutter wheel and then you got these wide sweeps and you notice on this one it's only half and that's the edge of that row there but let's see one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve and it's it's off a little bit but that's it's farm sim for you but yeah anytime you uh have rows like this just in case y'all knew you don't know you got two rows of cotton in between the tractor okay with this marker here that's the middle of the tractor you'll have six rows on that side six rows on that side see watch right there is one two three four five and six and that makes a 12 row and with us running two of these that's 24 rows and in real life uh say like the farm i work for uh my cuz larry muff he'll know uh everybody calls him muff daddy uh big country um i just call him larry my cousin how you doing larry i hope you're watching this but uh yeah this is uh how you cover cotton this is how it removes weeds and we we can run at nine but uh let's bump it up to about seven well, it is getting late. I need to slow my time down, too, because I got uh, a field now I need to finish. I'm like, I'm just going to go ahead and get over here and show this cotton off to y'all. But look at the lights on this thing, folks. Back lights and then front lights. And let's see here. Let me see. Nope, I'm on the cover there. That's why. You can put it on over to the weight. No. Well, there's a way. Um, get it on the. Come on. Switch over. Whoa, I don't want to do all that now. Oh, left shift and uh, There we go. Okay. That's for some high cotton right there. Look like good guy antennas or fillers or antlers, whatever you want to call. It. It does left shift and up and down arrow pads for the lights. And I should have put some fuel in this tractor before I got started. Wow. All right, folks, I'm going to be doing this all the way across. Uh, I just want to show y'all some of it. Show you all these tractors, show you what I was doing with the harvest contracts. And uh, just show you this tractor in general. Show you what cultivating cotton's like. Uh, I'm going to stop this one last time. Uh, I know we got enough br bright enough lights here. Let's get about right here. And we'll get down at the Vesa Gate. I don't see no bows on it yet. Bows is this little round thing. I'll try to show a picture of it right now. 
I think about it. And then after the, well, it's a balloon first. Yeah, a pretty little balloon with flower type deal on it. And for each balloon, you get a cotton bowl. And that cotton bowl is basically it. It grows cotton. It's pretty neat how it does it. And that's how we get our clothes. So, yeah. Well, folks, I don't want to make this too long since it's just basically this. And I'm not on my... Oh, if i done that in real life right there, I would destroy all kind of cotton. It'd been, oh, it'd been terrible. Yeah, come on, buddy, get back in your path, too. <laughs> right, I'm going to turn these lights off. We don't really need them. That's my fault. I didn't have GPS on temporary, and I guess I done it when I got out. But y'all was like, well, how big is this field, folks? Let's see, I'm going to do that and do this. All right, I had an interruption there, and I completely forgot what I was talking about, but I think it was this. Um, and you can see how it's... The blue dots is germination failed. As you can see right here, we take these. As, this, as those spots that fail to grow. And of course this strip here is where I forgot to check on the worker. And he just plowed right through it. Um, and this here is the soil. I'm going to change. Ticky tock, tick tock, tock, tock. There we go. All that is what it looks like fertilized. And you know that's where the cotton ends right there. Well, take on over one more notch. Everything white is cotton except for the road here road is not cotton I don't know does that go away when this this white is cotton now I, some of y'all probably wondering between one and three it was canola and y'all like uh, well where's the cross the turn road I was talking about is going to be it's going to be about right I, I really don't know. It's going to be probably like right here. Um, let's enter that. And uh, yeah. Get out of the vehicle. Computer's just a tiny bit slow. Of course it's an i3. It, it's no big computer. Get the drone flying. There we go. I done got this side right here marked. And all that there is going to be full. It's basically going to be three, four, and five put together. Um, as you can see here, I got a big ridge. I, I'm, I really don't know what I'm going to do with this ridge. I took the collision off of this with hide me mod or hide objects. So if it's still on, I think I'm just going to cover it up because I cannot delete it. Uh, my computer's graphics card so bad that it will not let me do GE, so I can't go in that and delete things like everybody else can. So I'm probably going to bring all this out to cover that up and then start tapering it off. But I think the turn road is going to be right here, pretty much on this house. We're just going to have a turn road that goes that way and then it goes out to cover it right there, crossing. And I have a road that goes to here and then go on straight towards the ditch. That way, when the combines or tractors gets to this road, they will stop, turn around, and go back the other way. And that will be the big cut, as we're going to call it. And this over here is going to be field one. It's just going to be a lot bigger. And as you can see, I... Uh, process of building I lowered it down some here because you can see it's a little bit higher right there I'm gonna go down just a little and then uh, yeah it's just a little bit higher right here which I might make it higher out on that end to put some more sheds I might redo this I don't know as you know we was like 5 million and something and we're down to 4.8 million and it's basically just 
doing the train edit on this here. Boy, it's laggy looking at shit. See how much faster it goes when you're not looking at shit? But this is the amount I got to fill in on this side. And yeah, let's go in there and uh, might well go ahead and make it a 30 minute video, right? And oh, I also put a bridge in here. And that was at field 10. We'll eventually buy it, but y'all know. Y'all know the deal. But we're going to go up here and show you. Whoa. Yeah, right here. Uh, basically, what I'm going to do, change that. And I want to get that to as big as, uh, I think it goes to 20. And we're going to get this up to, I think, 3.0. As this how fast it does it and quick as it does it we're going to zoom out a little bit we're going to hit the top left bumper and then the top right bumper and hold it and what it's going to do is just keep at the same height all the way across and about there you just keep doing a little bit of time and you can see up there how our money is going down which is very, very fast. And what I'll do, I'll come back and you just want it to where it kind of meets. As soon as you see a difference in it, like that right there, you need to stop. And then that's when you smooth it out. I gotta zoom in a little bit here. I think this is actually gonna be taller. Yeah. I'm going to go here and then bring this out. You just uh, left bumper and right bumper. And you'll see how it will. And I just want all this to be the same height all the way across. And that's kind of going into the ground there. So you'll come over. And just when you see it starting to sink into the ground is when you add it up. Or not add up, but scoot over. Y'all know what I mean. Alright. Finish this part right here. It's kind of jumpy when you're doing it that way. Alright. I probably could have lowered that a little bit, but it'd be alright. Now we just want to hit the Y button and hold. Hold it there as long as we can. And I want to get somewhere where we can see the money. Can't really do it. Hmm. I'll tell you what, I'll zoom in so y'all can see it there. But you just hold the Y down and you just want to move just a little bit of time while you're holding that Y. And you'll see that come up. Let me zoom in here. And kind of look real close so you can see that ground coming up. And the longer you hold it there, the more level or smooth, I guess you can say. And I kind of go on both sides of where the V is. And when I call it the V, like, this area right here, see how it's lower and this is high? I usually get right in the middle. And it kind of evens out both of them. And you just want to do that. Make sure it's all smooth. And you want to do this before you, you plow it or anything. That way you can come through here. Now a hard worker will plow this. Uh, or I'll create fields and hire a worker. As long as he got something, a little bit of an overhang to it, it'll work. And I got some dips right there. But anyway, it's oh, 32 minutes in, so I'm going to go ahead and end it here, folks. You can see where money's going, but I'm not going to do too much because I done changed my mind about the cotton pickers. We're going to get the, the round belt ones. Yeah, I'm going to go with them. Uh, probably get two, maybe three of them. And 
cotton's where the money's at. So next year we're going to grow quite a bit of cotton and uh, make us some money. So like I said, only about 18 to 20 episodes left of this, give or take. So which will bring us to harvest of next year or next season, I should say. All right, that should be kind of smooth enough, so, yeah. But anyway, folks, y'all have a great day, a blessed day. Thank you for all your love and support, your likes, your comments, your sharing. Um, please help me get to a 1,000. I'm at 599 as I'm recording this, and thank all y'all for the congratulations and stuff already. I haven't celebrated because i haven't hit 600 um when i do hit 600 though there's going to be some changes um might not be farm sim related changes but it's going to be some changes um y'all just have to get me past 600 and we'll see it's like if i hit 610 and know i'm going 610 subscribers family members if I can get it to stay there, and that's when the change is going to come. Uh, kind of big to my channel, in a way. I'm just going to go ahead and tell you. No, 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 no. I'm going to let y'all get me to about 610 subscribers, and then uh, y'all you will see. It's not much. You're, you're probably like, oh, Mr. Blue, really? You, you made us get you there for that. Hey, it's going to involve something. It's going to involve a Nikon D56. I'm just going to give you that much. But anyway, folks, y'all have a great day, a blessed day. And I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.